I get that from time to time, like, oh, I love that Will Curry record. Like, in fact, uh, the other night I was at a show, and a girl who I've just I've known sort of on and off for uh, for years, a friend of mine, uh, she came up to me and she's like, "Are you still in touch with Will Curry? Like, what happened to Will Curry?" Like, and I was like, "As a matter of fact, he just called me the other day, and he's got a new record coming out." So. The first thing I think about when I hear there's going to be a new Will Curry album is I can't wait to see what crazy, complex, lyrical, musical concept he's got in store, and this one is a doozy. Will's music is um, quite sophisticated, you know? He's um, really good with words. Um, they're very complex and rich. There's a lot going on there, these um, kind of abstract narratives. I mean, this is a next level concept record. The lyrics are about the band being executed by parliamentary decree and as they die off in the lyrics their instrument disappears from the record and never comes back and that's only Will would write that. We actually have like a video talking about like how that unexpectedness in music can like affect you when you're, you're like it's leading up to like familiar sounds with mm -hmm. whatever but like yeah. you get caught off guard with like a little bit something different. That the kind of structure of the music that Will is making, for example, like lends itself to that, where you can kind of have those familiarities and be like, this is really cool, and then suddenly like, there's just something a bit different, and you're like, whoa. The thing about his music, you listen to a song, you have to listen to it again and again and again, as if you, ha like, you have to listen to a Beethoven string quartet again and again. What do you call it when you get shivers? There's like a scientific term for that. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like essentially like music that. chills. Like when you get chills when you see like a horror movie, or when you like a, a song climaxes, mm -hmm. it's the same physiological and I think, response. Yeah. Even the orchestration isn't just complimenting or supporting the music, it's playing an active role in the story the album is telling. There's so many bands that, you know, add strings, you know, sweeten their songs a little bit, and it's it's good, but when you hear it on like Will's record, it's it's the real thing. Like it's a real arrangement. It definitely keeps you on your toes, musically speaking, and I think that's mostly because the guys in the band are something that not a lot of guys in indie bands are, which is trained, schooled musicians. Like his harmonic uh, language is really interesting. Uh, so they really know their theory and that enables them to pull off some really unique, incredible stuff. It's a lot more like um, traditional jazz or even classical music. The chords are always moving and changing and he's interested in interesting modulations. Like I don't know that I've ever really heard too many other artists like this. You know, yeah, you're trying to like, how do funny. I classify this music? Which is always kind of a nice thing when you're like, it doesn't just fit into the bubble. Of it's more Will than he's probably ever been, even on the other records, you know what I mean? Of all the music floating around in the internet and everywhere else, there's really, there's nothing else that I can think of that is anything like this. And they kill us, ooh, not from danger. And they kill us, ooh, keep moving on. Seem clever to make the space and too steep to feed us in the shutdown.